Hi everyone, welcome back to the cocktail vlog. I'm Steve the bartender and today I'm showing you how to make three easy Chambord cocktails for Mother's Day thanks to our video sponsor, Chambord. I have had many people ask if I could make a Chambord compilation and now is perfect timing. The team from Chambord's jumped on board and I'm gonna show you how to make three easy cocktails, uh, two common Chambord cocktails and then one that's uh, a little bit different so make sure you stick around to the end to check that one out. First cocktail is the French Martini. It wouldn't be a Chambord compilation without the French Martini. So the original recipe does call for cassis, but it's very commonly substituted in for Chambord for good reason, because it's a delicious sweet liqueur. Um, the cassis will produce a drier French Martini. Uh, Chambord's got more sugar content to it, sits at 16.5%, uh, so it's gonna create a sweeter French Martini, which I, in this cocktail, I think works really well. The cocktail was first made by Alan Katz in New York City. I believe he's the master distiller at New York Distilling Co. There's many different ratios with this drink. The, one of the most popular ones being 4-1-3 ratio. Today I'm using a 1-1-2, which produces a, a sweeter French martini, which I think will keep all the mums happy. Start off by measuring 30 mil one ounce of your Chambord, which is a black raspberry liqueur. It also has red raspberries. Um, it's got citrus, honey, and Madagascan vanilla, but the prominent flavors are black raspberry. And then Finlandia vodka. So 30 ml, one ounce. Add that straight in. And pineapple juice. With the 413 ratio, I actually found it better with the store-bought pineapple juice which was not made from concentrate and unsweetened. But this particular recipe, because it is sweeter, it does have a higher ratio of the Chambord. This works really well with partially fresh pressed pineapple juice because it has additional acidity to balance out that sweetness. So 60 ml pineapple juice, which is a ratio of one part fresh pineapple juice to three parts store-bought unsweetened. Sounds a little bit confusing, but I'll leave all that information in the description below. Add ice to your cocktail shaker and give it a good shake. Had my glass chilling. And today I'm double straining, reason being is because I've used that fresh pineapple juice so there's going to be a little bit of pulp in there and I want that strained out. And for garnish you can either drop the fresh raspberries straight into the drink or if you've got a cocktail skewer, skewer three raspberries. And they have the French martini. Cheers. Deliciously sweet. Um, in this particular ratio, the Chambord is the hero. So if you do, do like it um, a little bit drier, probably more vodka forward, then I'll leave that other recipe in the description below. But this is delicious. Mum's gonna absolutely love it. On to the second cocktail, the Chambord Royale, which is a twist on the classic Cur Royale, which calls for cassis. Now this one is going to be perfect if you plan on serving mum breakfast in bed. Instead of a mimosa, make her a Chambord Royale, which is as easy as it gets. So this one calls for uh, one quarter ounce, 7.5 mil to 90 mil of, or three ounces of champagne. Preferably a dry champagne because it's a sweet liqueur. Now, I have a 200 mil bottle. I have a miniature bottle. I'm gonna use the whole entire thing. So I'm gonna increase my Chambord to 15 mil, half an ounce. So the ratios are still staying the same, but I'm just gonna use the whole bottle. Why not? Or you could make mum one and make yourself one whilst you're prepping breakfast. These bottles are adorable. That's as easy as that, it's just 
Chambord and Champagne. Delicious. Of course, if you don't have a French Champagne, you can substitute it for something else. If you do use a Prosecco, which is going to be a sweeter style, then I'd probably consider allowing the Chambord just a tiny little bit. Have a garnish, a blackberry on the side of the glass. They have a very classy Chambord Royale. Cheers. Delicious. Good quality champagne with a little uh, sweet black raspberry flavor to it. Can't go wrong. Chambord is just fantastic to substitute into classic cocktails in place of the sugar component. So you could make a uh, Sours, uh, Clover Club, uh, Collins, all work really well just by simply removing the sugar and replacing with Chambord. Uh, so that's essentially what I've done with this one. I'm making a Chambord sidecar. I've got my glass set aside, chilling, ready to go for the cocktail. And I'm measuring out uh, 45 mil of brandy or cognac, whatever you have at home. And then three quarter of an ounce, 22.5 mil of Chambord, black raspberry liqueur. And dry curacao, cognac based, orange liqueur, just measuring out seven and a half mil, quarter ounce, just a tiny bit. Now, if you don't have the dry curacao, you could try it with uh, Grand Marnier, Cointreau, um, even substitute it for simple syrup if you don't have it. And then 22.5 mil, three quarter ounce of fresh lemon juice. which is roughly half a lemon, depending on the size. So fill that glass with ice and give it a hard shake. Now straight into that chilled coupe glass, Nicanora martini, whatever glass you have. And for garnish, I'm gonna add a blackberry, a small uh, twist of lemon and discard that, just expressing the oils over the top. And then a bit of a lemon twist. They have a Chambord Sidecar. Cheers. Super tasty rendition of a sidecar. You get the added sweetness uh, from the Chambord, but it's still very balanced. And I like the addition of the, the dry curacao, some uh, subtle orange notes and that dryness. Um, it's tasty, it's very good. It's possibly my favorite of the three. Thanks for watching. Hope you spoil your mum this Mother's Day and I'll see you soon for another cocktail vlog. Cheers.